looking back at Moore's Law, so many of us could not have imagined an end, um, an end to that and what it might look like after. And now we have your work and it is so big and so vast and it just seems that the futures, the futures and possibilities are endless. Have you ever given any thought to what might come after? If, if, if that is all, all good exponentials come to an end? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I was just about to say yeah. when you say it, like looking back, yeah, exponentials can only run for a very short right. time. To be honest, I haven't no. given it <laughs> <laughs> any thought. Um, I mean, it is important to realize that quantum processes are not necessarily general purpose processes. Everything that uh, computers that you touch today um, can do can also be done by a quantum processor. Mm -hmm. But um, you would not necessarily enjoy a huge benefit. For example, something like you take a video and you upload it to YouTube and we serve it out from YouTube. Um, this is as today done with classical processors. And you could do this with quantum processors or quantum computers, but it would take about the same time. It might even be a little bit slower than doing it with uh, classical processors. But um, a quantum processor, you should think more of it's a special purpose tool. It's what computer scientists would call a coprocessor. It's uh, good in accelerating certain tasks. And for those tasks which you can accelerate, there you have something like Levin's law where you get this double exponential uh, speed up. Mm -hmm. so that's what you set the boundaries. My colleagues or competitors who would say this, this is not even established yet mm -hmm. that it will be uh, truly the case. So it would probably involve the inclusion of um, yet more exotic physics um, mm -hmm. in the sense that. Um, Quantum computer, as the name suggests, uh, draws on uh, the resources that quantum mechanics offers us. Mm. And you may know that one of the big outstanding challenges in physics is to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity. That mm. hasn't been done. done yet. And so this would be referred to as quantum gravity, and we don't have really a theory for it. Um, but maybe quantum gravitational resources may be needed um, to transcend what the quantum computers can do. So we would have to corral a black hole into becoming a computer, <laughs> something along those lines that could transcend.